Today I'm gonna to give you three different date night ideas on what to do here in Anaheim. I'm gonna give you tips on what to bring and how you should prepare for each date. And I'll give you step-by-step -step details on each of those three dates. And they're gonna be your ballin' on a budget, your mid-range date, and then my favorite, the splurge. So let's get into it. All right, get ready to take some notes. First date, balling on a budget. You're probably gonna wanna start this one about late afternoon and you're gonna have a few things to pack. First of all, probably bring a backpack or a big bag. You're gonna wanna bring a blanket, maybe some water, sodas, drink of choice, and then a jacket if it gets cold, and then a basketball. Now that you've got all your supplies ready, it's time to take your date over to where you're gonna eat. And you're gonna head over to Cortina's in West Anaheim, so it's off of Brooklyn Hearst in Orange Avenue. It is the best Italian food in Anaheim and it's not expensive. So you're gonna order your food to go. And I'm gonna recommend grabbing something easy, like a pizza to share, or they're also known for their Italian subs. So that's a great, great choice. And parking is gonna be a little tricky there, so keep that in mind. It gets very crowded, but once your date takes a bite of this food, it'll all be worth it. Okay, next step, now that you've gotten your food to go, you're gonna take it with you, and you're gonna take a little drive over to Pearson Park. This is a huge park, so the world is your oyster here. So you can pick anywhere. Now that you've got your picnic blanket, you can literally pick a spot anywhere. For me personally, I think a great spot for you is gonna be near the amphitheater. There's just a bunch of palm trees, it's beautiful. And then across the street, you have a view of the most gorgeous historic homes here in downtown Anaheim. Speaking of homes, I specialize in selling homes here in our beautiful city of Anaheim. So if you're looking to make a move here or you've got a home to sell, I'd love to hear from you. Click my link to my calendar in the description below and we'll talk soon. So here you'll enjoy a nice dinner, have some great conversation, hopefully some great laughs and uh, share full bellies together and maybe to burn off some of those calories you just ate. You've got your basketball so you can take your date over to the basketball courts at the other side of the park and shoot some hoops. I mean, who doesn't like a good game of force? But what's special about this basketball court is it's actually a memorial for Kobe Bryant and Gigi Bryant. So it's purple and gold, it's beautiful, it's Instagrammable. You could take your maybe first date picture there. But it's definitely a great spot and a lot of fun. But your date's not over yet. So I'm sure at this point you've probably worked up another appetite and maybe it's just time for dessert. So here's a little trick for you. You can walk back over to where the amphitheater is and hop on the Fran. I've talked about this in other videos, but just to reiterate, the Fran is free rides around the neighborhood and it's a little electric car that takes you all throughout downtown Anaheim. You're gonna take the Fran, so make sure you have the Away We Go app downloaded on your phone so that you can use it to call your Fran on demand when you're ready to go. So you're gonna hop on the Fran and take it to the Anaheim Packing House. So if you're going on a weekend, you're probably gonna end up finding live music inside of the Packing House. So this is just a great spot to grab dessert, listen to some live music, and enjoy each other's company some more. The Packing House has quite a few choices for dessert, but you can't go wrong with ice cream. So I love going to Hans's homemade ice cream, grabbing an ice cream cone there, or a pot bar, or even stop by the crepe coop and uh, get ice cream on one of your dessert crepes. So good. And all of this date, obviously, this is a long date, probably cost you less than 50 bucks. So it's honestly a great date idea for anyone, whether it's your first date or your 10th date. All right, now we're gonna talk about our mid-range date. So you're gonna wanna do this about late afternoon. And in order to prepare, you're gonna have to make a couple reservations. Here's the date. First, you're gonna head over to the Anaheim Garden Walk and you are going to do something fun. So let's not get right into dinner. Let's go have some fun first. Take your date to this hidden gem. You're gonna go bowling at Bolero. So this is such a hidden gem that it's kind of hard to find. So it's on the basement level of the Anaheim Garden Walk. So Bolero is super cool. It's got neon lights inside. They have really good music playing. They've even got a bar and an arcade. And it's just a nice 
bowling alley. And to top it off, what's great is that you have your own server. So if you wanna order drinks, maybe you wanna order food too, whatever you, whatever you choose. It's great that you actually get to stay at your lane. You don't have to go to the bar to order food or drinks or whatever. So you get to spend more time with your date. Oh, and real quick, before that date, I would definitely recommend making a reservation and reserve your lane at Bolero online. You can do it on their website. You can obviously show up and hope that they have a lane open. They have 41 lanes, so it is possible, but you also don't want to show up and not have a lane and have to wait and make your date wait. Just a quick tip. But now it's time to enjoy dinner. Now that you worked up that appetite, done some bowling, laughed, maybe danced a little bit. <laughs> it's time to eat, but you are smart and you already made a reservation for Top of the V at the Viv Hotel. And this is only like two minute drive from the Garden Walk. It's just around the corner. The Top of the V is one of the best date night spots here in Anaheim. So I recommend making your reservation around 8 p.m. and I'll tell you why in just a little bit. The Top of the V is located on the 12th floor of the Viv Hotel, but you're also gonna wanna get there a little bit earlier before your date because the hotel itself is really cool. You walk in and they have really different artwork on the walls and you even walk into some life-size stormtroopers. It's just fun. You could totally nerd out on it. I know I do, but <laughs> this restaurant is such a vibe. You walk in and it's like loungy. It's really hip. The, the decor in there is beautiful. And then you walk outside and it's, I don't know, it feels like a rooftop bar in LA or something. Like it's crazy that this place is in Anaheim but I would recommend to sit outside if you can, so make your reservation for outside because it's gonna have the best view of Disneyland. And you made your reservation at 8 p.m., so at 9.30, you're done with dinner and you're gonna catch the fireworks from Disney. So you'll have the best view outside, but you can still catch the view inside and be a little bit warmer, but outside is just a vibe. It is amazing. And we haven't even talked about the food yet. The Top of the V is a Spanish tapas restaurant that focuses on Spanish Basque food from the Basque region of Spain. And they are known for obviously their tapas, but you could get the Spanish meat and cheeses. They're known for their croquettes, croquetas, the pulpo, the octopus, and they have the most amazing paella. It is fantastic. My favorite paella they have on the menu is the duck paella, because I don't really eat a lot of seafood, but you can get a seafood paella, which I hear is fantastic. And of course, they have amazing cocktails too. You can even get wine pairings with your dinner. The food and drink are just so incredibly delicious. You won't be disappointed here. But hold on, don't order dessert because your date's not done yet. We're going to the next spot. So you can jump in your car or burn off some of those calories you just ate and walk across the street. You're gonna head over to the Don Churros food truck. You're gonna see it. It's got bright red lights. This says Don Churros in the parking lot, catty corner to the Viv Hotel. There's probably going to be a long line, which is fine because they play great music. So you can have your own little dance party in the parking lot while you wait. For me, I love to order the churro with ice cream and cajeta. It is just the perfect portion to share or if you're like me and you just wanna eat the whole thing, that's fine. I don't wanna share my churro, I'm sorry. <laughs> get your own. This is such a fun day. You gotta go bowling, you gotta eat some really good food, you gotta see Disney fireworks, and you get to have the best churros in Orange County. Yeah, I said it. I'm sorry, Disneyland. Can you guess where the splurge date is? If you said Disneyland, you're wrong because I'm actually choosing Disneyland California Adventure for this date. I'm actually gonna recommend California Adventure because in my opinion, it's a little bit more adult friendly. They serve alcohol at the park too, so you can have a nice margarita while you're walking around or a beer, whatever. But of course, I could just end the video here and say, all right, go to California Adventure, but you're watching this video for some good ideas and I'm gonna make you look like a pro. So I'll give you the best rides to go on in the best order how to get on some of those rides faster, and where to eat and get snacks throughout the day. 
first step, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the Disneyland app downloaded. You can purchase your tickets through here in advance and since you're splurging, you might as well add Genie Plus when you order your ticket. Since you have the Disneyland app open already, make sure to make a reservation at one of the restaurants in DCA. My recommendations are gonna be Carthay Circle or Lamplight Lounge, but they're not always available. So you can check the night before at 11.59 p.m. Sometimes there's some cancellations and they open up. You could potentially walk up that day, see if they have any walk-ups open. But if you can make a reservation, please do that. You're gonna look like a superstar. I promise you this, but those are two really great restaurants to go to and I'll go over them a little later. So I'm gonna recommend getting to the park around noon, maybe a little earlier. So this is kind of a long date, but again, you're gonna look like a rock star after this one, especially with this kind of splurge. Anyway, on the day of your date, you're gonna wanna check your Disneyland app and check your Genie Plus reservations for Guardians of the Galaxy. That's the first ride you're gonna wanna go on. The line for that ride, is usually really long, so you definitely want to bypass that. So that's going to be your first stop. So somewhere around noon, check to see if your Genie Pass will start you out around that time. Get to the park earlier if you want, even better. Spend the whole day there. Anyway, you're also going to want to check your app and check you into the virtual queue for World of Color. This opens up at noon and you have to be at the park in order to check in. So that's why I suggest noon as your start time for the date. Once you check into Guardians, make sure to set up your next Genie Plus reservation. And I'm gonna recommend either the Cars Ride or it's actually called Radiator Springs Racers, but everyone calls it the Cars Ride. So that's what I call it. Or you could do Toy Story Midway Mania. Those are two great rides, but if you have to pick between the two, I'm gonna recommend Toy Story because Cars Ride does have a single rider line that can be very quick to get on the ride. Next ride you're gonna go on is gonna be Web Slingers. That's the Spider-Man ride. This one's super fun. It's very interactive. You're using your hands trying to kill Spider-Bot and it's a little competition between the two of you. So I love those kind of games. So either you're gonna wait in the standby line or you can take the single rider line on this one. If the standby line is more than 40 minutes, just go into the single rider. You'll probably wait like 10 minutes for single rider line. And sometimes you get lucky and you'll get put in the same car just on opposite sides. So you could still share your score with each other and compete that way. Of course, fun sitting next to each other, but why wait in that long line when you can just get right on the ride? Now it's time for a very popular ride. Very popular because I've seen this line of like two hours before and even up on busy days. So single rider line is the way to go for the cars ride. And what's great is kind of like web slingers. This is a ride that you might actually get on the same car with your date. So I've had it where I'm with my friends or my date and we are front and back same car. Or what's also fun is you're in cars that are racing against each other. And honestly, that's the way to go. It's so much more fun that way. So after those few rides, you're probably working up an appetite. So it's time to get some food and drinks in your system. So you're going to head over to the Cozy Cones in Cars Land. But pro tip, order mobile order while you're in line for single rider for the Cars ride and you can pick it up when you're done. So you're gonna head over to Cozy Cone number one to grab a churro, and Cozy Cone number four is gonna be for your cocktails. You can get cocktails there, beer, non-alcoholic drinks, so that's where you get your beverages. And then next door to that at Cozy Cone five, you're gonna grab some popcorn. I mean, you smell that popcorn throughout Disneyland, and it's just like, you have to have it. It's so good. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is about Disney popcorn, but just get it. Now it's probably time for your time slot at Toy Story Midway Mania. This is my favorite ride at California Adventure. The line is always atrocious, so you'll be very happy when you use that Genie Plus and skip the line. So Toy Story does not have a single rider line, so having the Genie Plus will save you and you'll get to sit next to each other and compete against each other. And who doesn't like some friendly competition? But this is an interactive game and you're basically gonna shoot for the most points and see who wins to make sure to take a picture of your score at the end. It's always a fun date picture. And let's keep that momentum going and that friendly competition and play some games over at the Pixar Pier. My favorite one is the horse racing ride because all you need is two players and someone wins a prize every round. And well, the prizes are actually cute. See? <laughs> We've played a few times, but 
we got this little horse, we've got a woody. You could trade the horses in for a woody, or if there's more people, you could win a woody. It's a lot of woody in one video. And now it's time for your dinner reservation that you made because you're a pro and you made a reservation at Carthay Circle or Lamplight Lounge. But you're probably exhausted after going on all these rides. So it's kind of nice to just chill, sit back, order a drink, eat some really good food and enjoy each other's company some more. And if you weren't lucky enough to get a reservation, sometimes it happens. If you couldn't get a walk up, sometimes it happens. There's some great places you could still mobile order your food from. One of my staples that I love to get at Disney is Corn Dog Castle. Grab a corn dog and just chill and people watch. It's also a great time. And last but not least, hopefully you were able to get in the queue for a world of color because this is a show that you really don't want to miss. So World of Color is a water show with music and video. It's very Disney nostalgic and it could be really romantic. I hope you found this video helpful and got some great date night ideas for your next date night. So for more great ideas, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of the next video. Remember, I post a new video every Monday. Monday. Huh. And just as a reminder, if you are considering Anaheim as your next home or have a home that you'd like to sell here, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me directly, hello at ocmonica.com. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you real soon.